First we'll open the trap door using a tool such as this. The trap door opens and I advise that we power the detector down. Remove the power cable. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver to get these two screws off the front to release the cover. Once those two screws are removed, the cover simply edges out and slides out to the left hand side. Release the cover making sure that it's hanging on the tethers and doesn't break from the floor. The sampling module here is this black part here, which requires a releasing of three screws and one cable. So first we'll locate this cable here and it's on a small connector. We can just simply squeeze that down and pull the cable out. It's self-locating and can only go in one way. Move that cable out of the way. And then we can use another screwdriver, possibly a flat blade screwdriver, to remove the three screws of the sampling module. Okay, with these three screws released, we simply grab the sampling module and gently tease it out to the front of the detector. You have now successfully removed the sampling module. Okay, to put the sampling module into the detector, you need to locate it where the three screws will line up. So place it into the detector like that. It's the reverse action of what you did before. Lining the screws up, push it firmly and you'll feel it locate into place. It's a nice firm feel and then you can tighten the screws. Then you'll have to just plug the cable in. The cable's very close to the back, so you might have to put a screwdriver behind to stop the plug from going all the way in. Locate the position of the cable. Plug it in, just make sure that it's plugged in securely. And then you can proceed to close the cover of the detector. Taking care to make sure the wires don't get jammed. Just like that. Then with your Phillips screwdriver, put your front two cover screws back. Power the detector back up. Close the door. Wait for the aspirator to come on. That will indicate that the sampling module is firmly in place.